Hey guys, my name is Mashy, and uh, today I will be teaching you how to play ro Rocket Robot on Wheels for the N64. I will be teaching you how to speedrun the N% category, which involves beating the game as fast as possible. Before we begin, let me say first the, that uh, we do accept runs on both console and emulator. The recommended emulator is definitely going to be Project 64 versions 1.6 or 1.7, and you can find any ROM, but just by googling. The version that we use is the standard USA version, NTSA U. Uh, there is a PAL version, but we don't use that. I don't think there's been any research done about whether or not PAL is viable or not. But for the most part, we use NTSCU, and you can play on console or emulator. It doesn't really matter. The only advantage emulator has is a little bit less lag overall, so it's not a huge deal. So the first thing that you're going to be doing when you go to speedrun Rocket Robot on Wheels is you'll see the file select screen. You want to make sure that slot A is empty. So you'll go ahead and erase slot A if you have something there, and you'll use slot A. That's because uh, there's going to be a lot of saving and quitting, and it's just easier to save and quit and select slot A each time, rather than having to menu down to B or C. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is there's a cutscene. You're going to skip that cutscene by pressing start. So as soon time starts as soon as you press A to select the file. So in three, two, one, go, and you'll go ahead and skip this cutscene. Now after skipping the cutscene, you'll be spawned into this area, and you'll see the first ticket. You're going to want to do a jump into the ticket and grab it in midair. So I'm actually going to do some save state magic here just to show off what happens if you don't do the jump. So you'll just roll into the ticket, you'll get a text box. And then what do you do from here? You, you go and hit the switch and that'll open up the park. So I'm going to go ahead, reload that save state, and I'm going to show you what happens when you jump into the ticket. As you can t see, it took until Rocket landed before the text box appeared. And then you'll get the backflip animation after the text box. Let's do that one more time. And now I'm going to pause midway through the jump. This is called text skipping. What you do is you'll jump through something that gives you a text box and then you'll pause. The pause overrides the text boxes in most instances. Right here I didn't get the text skip because you can notice that uh, in the upper right hand corner it still says zero for number of tickets. What I can do here is I can buffer another, another pause and you can see the one there. Now. To skip pressing the switch, I'll go ahead and save and quit, and it'll bring me into the next area. So I'll go ahead and do that. Mash A and start, and it brings you inside. So let me load that file one more time. Do that again. Okay, so I missed. No big deal. Whatever. As long as you don't hit the switch, it's still faster to save and quit and do that again. For some reason it deleted my file, but that's okay. We'll just do that, that part once again. I think it has to do with the save, save state stuff, but here we go. Pause, save and quit. If you hit controls, <laughs> which will happen on save and quit sometimes, it's fine, you can just do that again. But yeah, we're... 
Okay. I don't know exactly what was going on there, but we're fine now. So, now we're inside, and we're gonna go talk to this guy over here. This guy's Tinker, and he will open up the first world for us. As you can tell, just by watching my inputs, is hold down A to advance the text faster, press A to go to the next text box. So let's do that again. Because if you, if you see right now, it's going pretty slow. And then I hold down A, it goes a lot faster. And then you just tap to, to go to the next box, so on and so forth. Another thing to note with Tinker here is that when you approach him, how fast he turns around and starts talking to you is random. Like, see, he's taking a really long time to turn around. Or, let's, let's try and get a quicker one. That was still pretty long. Sometimes it's like near instant. Uh, it doesn't want to give me the instant right now. I think it has something to do with the angle that you approach at, but not 100% sure. It could just be pure randomness. I'm gonna wait here for a second and then approach. Nah, that didn't. That didn't do anything. Like, look at that. That was a lot faster than the ones that I was getting before that. Could just be a timing thing. Like we're not 100% sure what causes it. Either way, you're gonna you're gonna encounter some slow Tinker turnarounds at some point. And then from Tinker, you're gonna head on into the first world, which is Clowny Island. And immediately as you enter, you'll get a text box. This is a text box that can be skipped but it's kind of difficult to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show what you'll, what you'll do to set this up. So I'm actually going to save state right here. As you load, hold forward, and you'll be able to get the text box way over here. This is useful because it gives you sort of a visual cue. As you go over this dune is when the text box is going to appear. Also, as you can tell, Rocket loads uh, piece by piece. So what that means is all of his body parts come together. And when the last piece comes together with the rest of it, that's when the text box loads. So I actually got the text skip right here, and you see there's no text. If you get the frame, and pause on that frame, like that, you'll skip that text every time. And it's it's kind of an easy visual cue if you look at Rocket's body. The main body is the, the piece that, that loads last. So if you're looking at that, and if you hit exactly as that one, that piece loads into him, that's when you'll, when you'll skip the text. The next thing is we're going to go straight ahead to this uh, B area. But first I want to mention a little thing about Rocket's momentum. Rocket has a lot of momentum. And when you're turning, you can see like he kind of loses some of that momentum. But if you use the camera, he keeps all of his momentum. So it's, it's a little little time saver thing um, not a hundred not super important when you're starting off but knowing how to manipulate the camera to keep rockets momentum moving is something that will come to play a little bit um, so going into this area which is called beware I'm gonna reload the save state that I just made
you're gonna hold down and right, and you're gonna go into this toad here, and quickly, quickly pause. There's another, that's another tech skip. So, it's really, it's a really easy tech skip. Just pretty much any time after you collect it, you'll, you'll get it. It's probably the, the most free tech skip in, like, the entire run. So, there's a pretty big window, I think, to get it. Like, let's see if I can... Yeah, like, look at how late I did it there. And it, it still did it for free. As for the next part, the token route, I'm probably not going to touch on too much. Just kind of follow what I'm doing and you'll, you'll get enough tokens. There are a few tokens that uh, are definitely um, required. And pretty much all of the tokens that I'm going to be getting are the ones that are required to get the necessary amount that you'll need. This room here uh, has this roaming bee, and generally if you do everything fast, you're going to get on a good cycle. But if not, you might run into the bee a little bit. It's not a huge deal, just make sure you don't fall. Also, you're going to get the first machine part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and save state here and and use, use this to keep keep the cycle right. So you get that the machine part and here you see there's another text box. What do you do with text boxes? You skip them. So you're gonna do this like jump and then pause. It doesn't matter if you actually get the text box because look you're still on a good cycle with the B. But if you if you if you can skip it it saves just a little bit of time. I forget what the exact timing is for this one. There. See, it, it doesn't save a lot of time for that, but, you know, well, time save is time save. Uh, this room is the seesaw room. You're gonna go up from the, uh, the bottom one. You're gonna go across the bottom one, up to the top one, Use, uh, tilt the top one, grab the gold on the other side, let the top one tilt back down, go back to the middle one to grab the silver that's there, back on the top one to grab the other gold on the other side, and then move on. So I'll show that to you a couple times here. I'll make sure I have that save state made. Also, you do uh, a little jump there. I'll, I'll show it again after I go through this. You wait on there on that top seesaw just a little bit to get the the other side to mo go up. And let's uh, let's go ahead and redo this again. You can go all the way around over here and jump up, but it's slightly faster to go ahead and jump over this fence. And there you see I did a I did a, um, a camera rotate to keep my momentum a little bit. Not super necessary, but it helps. And the final room of Beware, you're going to go ahead, grab this token, jump across, and then jump through that ticket, and you want to you wanna try and do a tech skip again. So. The setup that I have for this is you land somewhere around here, and then you're gonna jump into it. Uh, that bee's in a really, really bad spot. Let me let him get out of the way. Okay. So you jump into it, and then tech skip at the top of your jump. And then you'll go out, go ahead and leave. As you leave, you wanna you wanna have your tractor beam out and go down and get this this uh, screw here. So what you... Let me actually do that again so I can uh, save state. Again, it's not a huge deal if you miss the tech skips, but 
you kind of want to hit as many as you can. So what I was saying with the screw is you want to you wanna grab the screw. Most of the time, when you grab the screw, the clown's going to steal it from you if you don't get a tech skip on it. And then you're going to have to chase down the clown and grab it back from him. What you can do is you can run up to the screw and tech skip, which will sometimes allow you to hold on to the screw without the, the clown grabbing it. And what you do to do the tech skip, all you do is just hold down B, and then as you get close to the screw, press start. And you're going to take the screw over here, and instead of using B again to throw it, you're going to release it with momentum. And it does pretty much the same thing as throwing. So you go close and just jump and release it. You come up here, do a little jump up there. It's not a big deal if you miss it, but it's a, t a small little time saver there. Come up here, grapple up to the top. Get the token that's hiding behind there. Token hiding on the corner here. And then you see there's a ticket at the top there and a machine part at the bottom. You want to grab both of them in the same jump. And that skips an animation. So what you do is you kind of use your momentum to jump through the ticket and land onto the machine part. Sometimes, like... You, you just miss. It's not a big deal. You'll get one extra animation, but it's pretty. It's pretty easy once you get a hang of it. And then you're gonna come in here, and all we're doing in here is just collecting the three tokens that are on the pedestals, and then leaving. Pretty simple. J just don't forget to go in there because you need those tokens. Then. You're going to get that machine part and head up to the flowers here, climb the flowers, and get the ticket. Jump off the flower, grab the, the screw, bring it to the console there. Grab the other screw, same thing. And you're going to come down here, jump over the edge, and turn around. And you'll see the, the doom dog right over here, which is the hot dog car. You're going to jump in, tech skip, because again, first time in a vehicle, you get you get text. Not a huge deal if you miss it again, but you know, you want to try and get as many tech skips as possible. And that this is as soon as you get into the, uh, the driver's seat. So like, as you fall down and you get in a position to drive it, that's when the text box appears. So coming out, you're gonna try. You're gonna hold left, and you're going to turn around. Get the machine part, and then come over here. I'm gonna do a safe state from over here so I get some momentum. Basically, you're gonna jump, jump, and then release out of the Dune Dog to get onto this platform here. Because the, the Dune Dog it can jump with Z. So you're gonna try and release and get on there. Come back, grab onto this, get the two tokens, and then save and quit. So this is going to be the end of the first section. Uh, from here, you see we have five tickets and 80 tokens. The next thing is to go and talk to Tinker. And then we're going to go back into Clowny Island and finish up once we, once we get our first move from Tinker. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this this section right here, and we'll continue in the next next video. So thanks for watching.